Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into a Melanote alternative. Right here we have Melanote but we also do have alternatives to this application and one of the best ones in my opinion is an application called uh, Walling which I do like a lot. And uh, what's important to know about Walling as an application uh, and their story is that they have recently switched CEOs. If you take a look at their iPhone application and the app in general, there hasn't been any updates for at least three months. I think three months was the last time they released something according to their website, but uh, they have switched uh, CEOs. I got an email recently and they are continuing to move forward with no immediate changes, but they are asking their user base uh, about opinions that the user base might have in order for them to continue to develop the application. So there isn't many like real competitors to Melanote for people who work in creative fields like design. One of them is x -tiles, but I still think that x -tiles mainly shines when it presents information in a more structured way. I think like the only real alternative to something like Melanote is actually Walling and that's why I am hoping that Walling will stay. But let's quickly just take a look at the pricing right now so we can uh, press the view premium features and you have a yearly premium which costs you six dollars each month which is pretty cheap compared to a lot of the other like uh, a lot of the market uh, this is with the special yearly plan offer and I tend to get this plan like a lot but you can also the original uh, price which most people get is actually eight dollars a month which is still cheaper than something like uh, Melanote and even something like My Mind, uh, which is a note taking app I use. But with this, you get unlimited walls, unlimited AI credits, custom colors, white label walls, unlimited wall uh, guests, unlimited file uploads. So, this is really good. Due dates and reminders, and you can track all of your tasks in the assigned tab. Uh, so you can track all of your tasks everywhere. API access and integrations. This says coming soon, but it feels like it has been coming soon for over a year now. I actually tested out and used this app for a month a year ago, and it was saying coming soon back then as well. But hopefully with the change in management, this application will improve heavily when it comes to... Uh, comes to upgrading the application and getting new features inside of it. They also have a monthly plan which costs you eight dollars each month and eight dollars each month for a monthly plan is really really cheap. Uh, most applications are much more than eight uh, dollars if you go for the monthly plan so I'm guessing that this won't be the pricing for long. Um, I think that it will become more expensive. I would say that uh, like 10 to $12 for the monthly plan, probably $12 for the monthly plan and $10 for the yearly is probably where the rest of the market is. Uh, even Notion updated its pricing. So I think that it is a really cheap uh, application. One of the main benefits of uh, of uh, walling, apart from the fact that it is really cheap and cheaper than something like um, something like uh, Melanote, is the fact that they utilize AI a lot and mainly to help you organize. So the way they do it is that you can uh, give the AI a prompt and it will build out your whole entire workspace for you. So it actually did that for uh, this workspace I am on right now. Everything here except for these uh, things I've written myself. Uh, everything else is like made from the AI and you have different views. Uh, so these are similar to what we would call databases inside of other applications. You can change this to a 
calendar view or you can change it to a list view or uh, the board view which is my personal favorite you can also change it to what's called a visual view which is uh, a little uh, different i can show you how that works later but i mainly like use the board view and sometimes i use uh, the table view as well so you have many different views and i can show you how the visual view looks so this looks like that's quite similar to a board view but i would say that a visual view is closer to a gallery view inside of other applications um but we have the ability to use ai to create all of this which i do like a lot and you also have the ability to publish this to the web uh, and you can also uh, send it to people so let's say you are uh, working on this for a client or uh, for a project you want to share you can actually do that using uh walling and publish this and i've seen people create really beautiful walls uh, inside of this application so apart from that you can actually add images here as well dividers you can link to a different wall checklists file uh, code block you can assign it to someone or you can give it a due date so there are a bunch of things you can do here you also have uh, the ability to add images but uh, let's say you can't find a perfect image you can actually use AI to search uh, or to make you an image uh, which is really cool but uh, it hasn't been something I have extensively used personally and there are might be some copyright issues uh, that I am not uh, totally aware of so that's not something I would necessarily use for my own social media uh, at least not right now uh, apart from that there is um, tags here as well so you can tag things uh, and you have a graph which isn't an actually real graph view uh, it feels more like a gimmick than anything else but it has OCR as well so you can search for things within images uh, which is uh, a feature that I know a lot of people do love you can add uh, a bunch of things here and you can customize it exactly to whatever you want so walling have has a lot of great features and a lot of features I do love uh, one of the major issues I have had with this application is that they are not good enough uh, at communicating what they are doing and they are also not good enough at actually up updating the application enough but as I said earlier in my video I feel like this is like the only real alternative to something like uh, Milanote and I feel like there is still a lot of space in this visual note-taking app um, for capturing images and uh, like documents and not necessarily just text I feel like that side of note taking still uh, is in its really early days but i would say that this is like one of the only real competitors to something like milanote i don't feel like x styles or my mind does the same thing because uh, x styles feels more like a notion competitor while uh, my mind is so privacy focused and you can't share things and it feels much more like a uh, note-taking app while both Milanote and Walling feel more like project management applications and this has just been like a quick uh, tutorial or not a quick tutorial a quick tour of uh, the application called Walling and you might be confused with the whole idea of uh, walls and bricks but I actually think that it makes sense you create a wall and you add bricks on top of it so uh, it is a fun thing to look into if you are looking for an alternative to Melanote. I still don't think that it is necessarily as good, but it does things a little bit differently. So this might fit your thinking uh, better than something like Melanote. And hopefully with the new CEO and going forward, they will uh, 
update the app more often and they will implement some new things and ideas it will be really exciting to see uh, how they will continue to implement ai inside of this as usual if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video